Ah, this is Matt from Bad Dudes Gaming. We're going to do something a little different today. Um, I'm going to be playing uh, Mega Man X. If uh, you couldn't already tell by watching the intro here. Uh, it's going to be just me today. Um, I'm going to be do doing a Let's Play of this. So, kind of interspersed with our new Super Mario Bros. Wii videos. I'm going to be uploading videos of uh, my Mega Man X playthrough. I think we'll just skip past the uh, intro here. Mega Man X is one of my uh, favorite older games. I spent a lot of money as a kid renting this game. and probably spent even more money forgetting to return it. And uh, having to pay all the late fees at the rental place. Doing these videos here, um, solo videos, I guess. This is one of the ideas that uh, Ryan and I have for our channel. Um, he's putting together his uh, set of recording equipment, and um, he may be doing some of his own solo playthroughs as well. And um, also, we've got a couple friends that we might bring in occasionally. Maybe do some four player Goldeneye split screen. Get all four of us doing some commentary. A lot of different things we'd like to try, so keep uh, keep paying attention to the channel, and uh, there might be some some new things coming up down the road. Uh, for those of you that may be watching this that have never played this game before, or um, you know played maybe the original Mega Man series, you'll notice uh, I'm able to jump off the walls here. That's one of the big mechanic changes in this game from the original series. It, uh, it really allowed the level design to get more complicated. Uh, another thing, another big thing, I guess, would be the uh, the upgrade system, which I uh, can't show you right now. When I get into the other actual stages, you'll see what I'm talking about. But basically, you're allowed to upgrade all your different... Mega Man can upgrade his body parts, his uh, legs, armor, arm, cannon, and uh, his helmet. And it allows for uh, the addition of new abilities outside of just the uh, the weapons obtained from the eight robot masters. So, adds some more complexity to the game, and it really differentiates it from the original series. Here we are at the uh, end of this intro stage. No health bar, and that's uh, that's for a reason. You won't be beating this guy the first time around. Definitely something different too for them to put that into a Mega Man game. I don't think anybody expected to fight a boss that you wouldn't be able to beat eventually after uh, enough practice. But yep, he's uh, programmed to. Do just enough damage to you and then hit you with one of those little electric balls there. Zero to the rescue. If you play, um, Mega Man X2 or X3, any of the three Super Nintendo games, the three uh, X games, Zero is uh, Zero's a badass. Zero always has probably the coolest theme in the game. Yeah, what, right there what Zero is saying basically is with all the uh, upgrades that the the game has placed in some of the stages for you, your, uh, your abilities get stronger or you gain new abilities. Also, you'll notice your, uh, your health bar is 
fairly small in this game, but uh, you do get to upgrade that in in each stage, each of the eight stages, there's a, uh, a heart tank that adds two more little energy pellets or lines to your energy bar. And uh, when you've done them, when you've gotten all eight, it's, uh, you match the size of the boss health meters, which yeah, I guess you'll see at the end of this stage here. It almost feels unfair when you see that for the first time, how, how small it is compared to what the, what the bosses have. This stage here is uh, probably the stage that most people start with. Um, the original Mega Man series, Mega Man had a slide ability from the third game onwards. In this game, if you uh, if you try playing it and you're messing around with buttons, you'll notice that you don't have a slide ability. In uh, X2 and X3, Mega Man has a similar ability to that automatically from the start of the game. But in this game, it uh, that ability comes with the leg upgrade, which is coming up here in just a second. Most people pick this stage because this upgrade is the, it's placed right here and you can't skip it. You have to go through this. The other upgrades are generally hidden. So this this one is, uh, is very important to uh, being able to easily maneuver the rest of the stages. So being the first one here, Dr. Light's explaining what's going on. And there's the dash for you. I say dash, it is different from the slide. Unlike Mega Man's slide, where he could uh, fit through small small passageways, uh, you can't do that with X. But Other than that, not too different. Also, though, um, it's a little easier to use the dash with X, I think. In Mega Man, in the Mega Man series, you had to press down combined with the jump button at the same time to pull off the slide. In X, you can just double tap in the direction you're facing, or you can press the A button on your uh, Super Nintendo controller, or whatever it is you've got that set to if you're playing on an emulator. Here we are at the uh, first boss, Chill Penguin. This guy's pretty easy to fight. Um, don't even need to have the weapon that's weak against or that's um, strong against him. That's his his weakness. He's only got a couple attacks here. He shoots chunks of ice towards you. He can create these two statues here, these two ice statues. And uh, what he'll sometimes do is, you'll notice the hook that's up on the top of the screen there. He makes his ice statues and then he jumps up to there and causes a storm to blow the statues in your direction. You try to make them hit you. And then he's got that dash he's, do he's done right now. And there's the storm. And he'll occasionally just jump towards you. That's, uh, that's about it for his attack pattern. All very easy attacks to avoid. There we go. 
That's the first boss down. Yeah, like I said, notice how, how big that guy's health bar is compared to yours. Not to worry, though. At the end of the game, mine will be just as big, and I'm going to have a uh, armor upgrade as well. This little sequence here showing you the uh, new weapon in action. All right, and I think we're going to cut it here. We'll come back next time, and we'll take on a couple more Robot Masters. Thanks for tuning in.